हॅलो ऑल आय एम पुनश्री पाटील फ्रॉम ए आय एस एस एम एस आय ओ आय टी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी पुणे सो टुडे वी हॅव टू डिस्कस द डेटा टाईप्स इन पायथॉन सो डेटा टाईप्स आर यूज टू डिफाईन द टाईप ऑफ द व्हेरेबल्स सो इट डिफाईन्स वॉट टाईप ऑफ डेटा आर वी आर गोईंग टू दी स्टोर इन द व्हेरेबल सो डेटा स्टोर्ड इन मेमरी कॅन बी ऑफ मेनी टाईप्स फॉर एक्झाम्पल पर्सन एज इज स्टोर्ड इन न्युमरिक व्हॅल्यू अँड अँड हीज ॲड्रेस इज स्टोर्ड इन द अल्पानिमरिक कॅरेक्टर्स सो वी हॅव टू यूज द डिफरंट टाईप्स ऑफ डेटा टाईप्स इन द पायथॉन सो हिअर इज द व्हेरेबल कॅन होल्ड द व्हॅल्यूज ॲट एव्हरी व्हॅल्यू हॅज द डेटा टाईप सो पायथॉन इज द डायनामिकली टाईप लँग्वेज सो मीन्स वी डू नॉट नीड टू डिफाईन एनी टाईप ऑफ व्हेरेबल वाईल वी वी हॅव टू डिक्लेअर दॅट व्हेरेबल सो हिअर इज द एक्झाम्पल वी हॅव टू राईट ओनली द ए इज इक्वल टू फायू सो ए होल्ड्स द इंटिजर व्हॅल्यू फायू सो वी डीड नॉट डिफाईन इट्स टाईप इन पायथॉन इंटरप्रिटर इट विल ॲटोमॅटिकली इंटरप्रिट द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ ए ॲज द इंटिजर टाईप सो नेक्स्ट वन इज द देअर आर द टाईप्स ऑफ data types of python so there are basic uh, five types numeric dictionary boolean set and sequence type in numeric we have to see the integer value float value and complex number values and in sequence type we have to see the what is mean by string list and tuple so first is the numeric value so in in numeric value we have to use the integer float and complex numbers so uh, numbers are stored in the numeric value so we have to use the type function to know the data type of the variable similarly is instant functions we have to use here to check an object belong to that particular class so integer value can be used to check the length of the integer so there is no restriction in python to how many length of that integer value so float value is used to store the floating point numbers and it is accurate up to 15 decimal points so complex number that contains an ordered pair that is x plus i by format where x and x and y denotes the real and imaginary parts so imaginary parts the next one is the <coughs> sequence type so sequence type in which first we have to see the what is mean by string so string is is the collection of our sequence of the characters and it is represented by using the quotation marks it is either single quote double quote or triple quote uh, to define the string so in string handling uh the straight forward task in python provides the built in functions and operators to perform the operation in the strings so in case of string handling we have to use the operator plus for concatenation of the two strings uh, concatenation of the strings and for repetition operator we use use for the repetition purpose so here is the example we have to take the string is the string using the double quotes then print string and uh, we have to define that string so here is the output for that string here is the another example we have to take the string one is hello java point then string two is the how are you then we have to use the slicing method 0 2 so in which we have to print first two characters of the by using the slice operator in the second type we have to use the string of one of the fourth location so we have to calculate the fourth character of this string and by using repetition operator we have to print the string in two times and by using plus operator we have to use the concatenation of the two strings the next one is the list so python list are similar to the arrays however list can contain data of different times but in array we have to take the similar data so the items stored in the list are separated with the comma and enclosed within the square bracket so we can use the slice operator to access the data in the list and concatenation operator and repetition operator works with the list in the same way as that in the string that is used for the repetition purpose and concatenation purpose so here is the example of the list by using slicing method plus operator and repetition operator next one is the tuple so tuple is similar to the list in many ways but like list tuples are also contain the collection of items of different types but the items of the tuple are separated by the comma and enclosed in the parenthesis so here is the example for that here we also use the repetition operator concatenation operator and slicing operators okay then next one is the dictionary so dictionary is the unordered set of key value pairs it is like the array or hash table 
where each key stores as a specific value so key can hold any primitive data type whereas value is an arbitrary python object so dictionaries is separated by comma and enclosed within the curly bracket so here is the example of how to declare the dictionary and how to access the member of the uh, dictionary by using the keys values so next one is the data type is the boolean so boolean type provides two built in values either is true or false these values are used to determine the given statement to check to a true or false it denotes by the class bool true is represented by any non zero value or t whereas false can be represented by the zero or f value the next one is then last is the data type is the set so python set is unordered collection of data type so it is iterable and mutable mutable means what so we can change the change the string or method by uh, after the creation and uh, has the unique elements so in set the order of the element is undefined it may return the change sequence of this statement so in built in function set we have to use here the sequence of elements are passed in the curly bracket and it is separated by the comma so here is the example of set 1 is equal to set set 2 is equal to we have to use here curly bracket and separated by the crom comma so these are the data types in the python thank you